My name is Natasha Davis. I'm an artist based in London and Berlin. Originally, I'm from former Yugoslavia because it doesn't exist anymore. The only way for me to say where I'm from, uh, where I was born is Croatia, but I'm actually of a mixed Serbian and Croatian origin. So I have connections to both places. I also spent uh, a considerable part of my life in Athens, Greece. So part of me, I feel I'm almost like a little bit from there as well. And I also lived in Syria. So these are the places where I existed for a longer period of time. Um, my work often deals with, and this personal story lends to it naturally, with crossing borders, displacement, body and memory, and uh, what traces and uh, crossing borders leave on body and memory and how they define it in a way. Um, my artistic practice manifests itself through performances, performance art, but I also create work for galleries, uh, I make installations, I also uh, have participatory projects, I write and uh, short films often add layers to my other work and I make documentary films too. I am in Copenhagen this summer uh, because I'm one of the uh, resident artists for one of the two residency programs run by the Metropolis. Um, and as part of that, what I have been doing is looking at the connections between my own practice and this city that is new to me. Um, my practice is based on autobiographical experiences, on research, on fantasy, and on conversations with people who have maybe had experiences similar to what I am exploring in my work. Uh, somehow I got a, a, attracted to lots of non-spaces. We're kind of standing in one of them, the places that maybe are not so occupied with people, that places one would think could be anywhere. I have experimented in a few places, uh, for example, um, at the edge of the car park next to the opera uh, with the large cranes. Um, I experimented with cloth, with uh, the images of the sea and the blue. Um, this space here, which is uh, a very kind of concrete block at the back of the CC gallery uh, that looks maybe like not much is happening here, but actually so many details around it are incredibly rich. Uh, but, you know, abandoned uh, car tires, staircases, really interesting landscape. And uh, I definitely developed this attraction to maybe uh, kind of places where Maybe it's not that easy to perform where the wind is really strong, where, you know, that are uh, kind of a little bit out of track. Uh, the places where you wouldn't normally expect a performance to happen and where if you're working with materials, they're just blown away by the wind. They're like, uh, you know, easily destroyed by elements. So there was something that I got interested in. I, um, came to this space here and created about a dozen performative episodes. So a series of objects mixed with performative actions, mixed with words and poetic texts. These fragments that I shared with um, uh, the other resident artists and the uh, Metropolis team came from my ongoing research, my ongoing interests, from my own autobiographical experiences, from the conversations with people and the landscapes that I encountered here. So, uh, so somehow I mix them into what I hope were coherent layers and somehow having a conversation with each other mm -hmm. into performative episodes. And I played with the idea of 
what is true, what is not true, what is my own story, what is someone else's story, uh, and the truth that I'm looking for is not necessarily a statistical truth, or, uh, but it's a poetic truth that I hope will make the receiver think about the issues as well. Um, so Copenhagen has also provided the whole new layer of information how wealthy, stable country that generally speaking takes good care of its people and its citizens. How does Copenhagen and the whole of Denmark deal with the current uh, migration situation? So it, ha it has provided the wealth of, you know, it has added the wealth of information to my ongoing research. One of the interesting findings for me are, one of the frameworks of the residency is sharing the work in development, leaving a trace. This is not a natural way of working for me. And because this was one of the requirements of the residency, of course, I, I knew that from the beginning and I happily went with it. Um, and that um, generated interesting things. The unfinishedness of the work uh, asked for certain solutions that actually turned out to be interesting artistic solutions. And it's, it's one of the one of the things that I'll be taking with me to the future to actually think about potentially as a dramaturgical tool for the future. Uh, if you think about that every artist has a box of, an, a, a box of ideas or a box of tools, um, then so definitely the stay here has made the box of ideas a bit heavier to take home with me there are more ideas and it has generated a few tools and that is the wonderful thing about working somewhere else because those tools you can acquire only when you work in a different way.